Um, let's go to the next one, Dan, if we have the next one, because we've been uh, really uh, inundated by artwork. And uh, this is a beautiful, this is a photo, of course, as you can see on your screens. And this came from uh, Maria, AKA DQD underscore doodles. And they are from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And uh, we're actually gonna be hearing from the Push Radar video this week is a little tease for you at home if you're from Argentina watching, is an Ar Argentinian native and an Argentinian artist, so it's cool. Uh, she says, quote, thank you so much for including us fans. This makes us so happy. A very concise fan, if I can say so. <laughs> and uh, here's a picture of, uh, of her uh, with an awesome FLS B-Day sign, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's a file name I was about to read out on screen. But as you can see, really nice. And uh, Dan, wow, quick on the... Tr um, uh, the, the buttons there, Dan. We're on to the next one, uh, and here's uh, her amazing art. Two pieces, actually. Now, this is uh, this is the first one. Is uh, request Dimash, the woman saying on the bench, and then the guys are going, "Okay, stop." Is this me, like on a date? Like, what's the vibe here? And then she's going, "Request Dimash, official." <laughs> this is not what just for the record, this is not what happens on dates, but uh, <laughs> on on MTV. And then I think the bird is like, oh, the bird's going, poor dude. The, the bird in the corner is going, Kurt, poor dude. Birds do say that. If I ever have a date in the park, they do sympathize with me for being such a doofus and a loser. But uh, the, the, the conversation top is a little different when I'm on the date. Um, and then we have, do we have the second piece of art there, Dan? There we go. Um, now this one I was really floored by. And uh, am I to understand that the, the, this woman also drew this? Okay, so thank you. I didn't, when you, they mailed me this. So I have the physical, actual, like, like, copy, the rendering of this um, at my apartment right now. Uh, this came to the radio station uh, that I worked at in uh, New York City yesterday. And it was, uh, I was really floored. I mean, this is like, I hope that's doing it justice. It's a beautiful work of art. And um, I mean, it just, I can't even speak to your talent, just how immensely talented you are. Uh, but it says, if you can see this on your screen, um, at Kevin Kenny's Once Peaceful Place, amen to that. And it's me and Banjo on the couch there. You even got the right uh, color of my couch, which is great. And it's basically just all these people bombarding us with requests. And uh, me asking Dimash for advice on how to, you know, field this much attention. And uh, he's just chilling there over, I guess, in Kazakhstan, just like laying out. With the sunglasses, though, by the way, which is which is amazing. A little behind the scenes story. I forget if this happened on MTV or my YouTube, but um, the last Dimash interview that I did, he's like, dude, can I wear, can I put on my glasses? And I was like, yeah, sure, dude. You know, I, I wear contacts. I figure he's going to put on his reading glasses. And he puts on those glasses. He's like patented sunglasses. He's a cool dude. He rocks shades inside, as I do if you watch the FLS. Um, all right, let's say, hey, can we get the, uh, the, the shot of the fingernails, Dan? Because this is really... <laughs> First, we have, uh, we have uh, a drawing of me and, uh, and Banjo here. This is actually really... I thought this was like... Uh, there's those apps online where you kind of like make, like cartoonize a picture. This is so incredible. I thought it must have been one of those apps, but now that I'm looking at it, as you can see on your screen right there, um, this is really a drawing. And they even got the Everclear shirt that I was wearing, which is amazing. Um, so really beautiful uh, work of art here. This comes from Bridget, AKA Jit Deer in German. So this is, uh, this is really quite wild. Now, Dan, if you could be so kind, let's show the next uh, image for the folks at home watching today on MTV. Beautiful, look at that. That's, uh, I guess, me as like Chris Evans, um, as uh, Captain America, I guess. <laughs> I just want to specify, uh, that, that's Captain America, Chris Evans, not, not another team movie, Chris Evans, it's very different. Um, but that, uh, that comes from uh, Sabine, at Sabine Lulls uh, from uh, Germany, and uh, it looks like a, a real life superhero. And I also want to highlight Sabine, because Sabine did the most uh, diligent research uh, almost to a concerning level out of anybody making fan videos or fan art over the past couple of weeks. She actually made a fan video of my hometown, which is a one square mile town in New Jersey. And uh, I've, I didn't even know that many pictures of the town and streets existed. I don't know if she went on Google Maps or whatnot, but she made like a, like a fan video for Hohokus, New Jersey. So thank you, Sabine, for doing that amount of research. I'm sure the town uh, thanks you. And then there's another one here that I think I look the most attractive in, if we can get a shot of this, Dan. Um, this is quite the look. Uh, see, that's me without the makeup. That's like when MTV, you know, can't get the hair and makeup deal. That's kind of, I think that's like El Natural is what I call that look right there. Um, me with one of my stogies there and uh, one of my plants. And uh, that's another thing that has evolved during the show is my uh, my home decor. There was like nothing in that apartment. And MTV goes, dude, if we're shooting the show at your apartment every week, please decorate the place. It looks like you, like you live in a dump. And now it just looks like I live in a dump of plants, but um, that's me on Halloween. And uh, who drew this? More, no, who drew this? Sabine? Okay. 
Sabine drew it. And uh, this was actually a really, uh, this is kind of like a breaking news segment we did uh, on the show on Halloween where um, a lot of people thought I was joking that I was the gorilla in the Morissette video. Morissette also the first ever uh, female artist to uh, go number one on the show, solo female artist to go number one on the show. So again, what's up to Morissette and congratulations on that honor. But uh, in the video we always played, there's a gorilla and I used to say that's me and people thought I was joking and then lo and behold, I proved it to you um, on Halloween. So I'm glad we cleared that up. And uh, thank you guys all for your artwork. Now, producer Katie, will, be, will we be seeing more artwork throughout the show? We actually have a world famous laughter yoga instructor that was really hard to book and schedule for this uh, Friday live stream special, but we've done it. It costs us a lot. It costs us a pretty penny here at MTV, but I'm being told that Nikita is now live on the line. Nikita, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> we are live, so um, what we wanted to do, we'll see if Nikita figures out uh, the phone situation, but Dan, you wanna show off her artwork in the meantime? because. Uh, this was really incredible. Now, Dan, the director here, has this weird obsession with Celine Dion, as I've covered on the show. He's also, like, fanatical about John Cena, the wrestler, and he feels that I look like John Cena here. So in addition to guessing what's in the box today on the FLS, can you also let us know if you think I look like uh, John Cena? And uh, not to be a professional here, don't worry, sorry, Rob. Um, but I want to make sure, yeah, this is all set up. I just want to make sure, Nikita, that, uh, you know, you're on the right line. See, I was all psyched to talk to Nikita because she does laughter yoga, She's always on like my TikTok live, my IG live, like trying to get me to sign up for laughter yoga class. And I was going to do a live laughter yoga session with her after MTV told me that uh, uh, Spencer Pratt loves laughter yoga. And if you know anything about me, I want to be more like Spencer Pratt. So I thought this would be a great opportunity. But Nikita, you know, what are you going to do with that cell service? <laughs> I just heard laughter. Is that... Do you also know words? Okay, that's that's not ominous at all. Uh, well, <laughs> Nikita was laughing there. That, that is what I heard. But, you know, we're trying to connect phone calls from, like, you know, across the world because of how global this show is. Nikita? Yes, I'm here. What do, What's going on over there? What are you doing, like a different interview with another brand? I'm talking to you. Well, what's going on? I, you're late for laughter yoga. I'm talking. Okay. Do you want to do laughter yoga with me or no? Yes, of course. Well, I, yeah. I mean, you're like the it woman for laughter yoga. You're like who the stars go to for this service. So, you know, me being a budding star at MTV, I'd love to do it with you. Um, I hear Spencer Pratt's a big fan of yours. So is Heidi. Um, what can you tell me about laughter yoga? Well, laughter yoga is built in 95 in India, and it's a discipline which is not made on humor. It's just an exercise like going to the gym. So it's about breathing, it's the yoga part, right? and about laughing, like an exercise. And the more you laugh, the more hormones will be released from your body, and you really start laughing, and this brightens your life. And it's very healthy. Oh, wow. All right. So why don't you, uh, do you want to like lead us in an exercise? Like how would we do, uh, like what would be a, like an, a beginner exercise? I don't want to hurt anything or pull a muscle, but what would I, uh, what would I do as like a beginner with laughter yoga? There are some exercises for breathing to start and to start moving your diaphragm, like for example, the classic sound of laughter is the ha. So you start doing ha, 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 and move your diaphragm heavily. Okay. And you just stop laughing. So it's like you breathe in from your nose, deeply, and then you just go laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and so on. And then there are many exercises that involve your creativity, but it's difficult because I can't see you at the moment. Right. Um, well, <laughs> thanks for not watching the show today. Um, what, now, why would you choose like laughter yoga? Why not just do yoga? Can you say it again? What are there any unique benefits to laughter yoga as opposed to just doing yoga? Uh, it's, it's different, and um, the couple who makes it is a, is a doctor and a yoga teacher together. Oh, and really? The thing about the yoga is really about the, the deep and healthy breathing, 
And the laughter and how it is, for example, all the gene and clown therapy and everything, that, uh, that laughing is healthy for us. So by laughing every day, I do it every day, 15 minutes. In I just start laughing and I stop after 15 minutes. And this really helps you to not be so critical about daily situations. For example, if something fell on the floor and breaks and you, you are mad, it doesn't make it better or you, know, you get a punishment because you park the car in the wrong place and you get mad, it doesn't get better. So with these, with these exercises, we train to laugh in those situations and then it really happens. Um, there's an exercise, for example, where you laugh about the police stopping you and giving you a punishment and when it really happened to me, I started laughing and they were like, hey, come on, calm down. Right. <laughs> do, uh, do the neighbors ever worry? So it's, uh, it's about rewiring and re-educating your, your brain and your thoughts to positivity. <laughs> right, right on. Um, now, obviously, uh, you know, you're a big fan of the show. You're an avid requester, and you're also quite the artist. We showed your, uh, your, your, your drawing, your rendering of me, which I was very flattered by. Um, how long did that take you? Well, I don't know. I don't know what time. Right. <laughs> I enjoy drawing, and the time always flies when I do so. Totally. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have a favorite color? Well, I have a favorite color, and that's Right on. All right. Uh, well, what's your uh, favorite moment of the show over the past like twelve months? Well, I'm I'm a fan of MTV since the nineties, and so of course it was a great moment to see me match on MTV. And as I'm not a fan of judgment, I must say that there are great moments every time, and I'm really looking forward every time there is a show. What will happen and there's always something to laugh about, and, and I just like the whole concept of it. And I remember, for example, when Arashi debuted Shadi Stars, it was a great moment. We were more than 10,000 people in the chat, and the chat was full of emojis. <laughs> I like the interview with Dimash, and I like to know new artists. You know, uh, Nikita, there's chatter right now from the producers that are watching the live chat that Arashi might actually overtake Dimash tonight. And, and and actually has a legitimate shot at being number one. That's fine for me. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to, I just wanted to check, you know, before you know we made it official. But uh, Nikita, it's great to chat with you. Thank you for the artwork. Thank you for the laughter. And uh, I'll definitely I'm going to check out that that whole yoga stuff. But I got to get back to uh, the videos and the, and the guests. But you were tremendous. Thank you very much. Awesome. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was uh, Nikita, everybody. Uh, when you're so jacked, what is weight? It's like, Nikita, what's time? You know, I don't think about time when I'm drawing. When I'm lifting, I don't think about pounds. That's a birthday cake right there. Very cool. Of course, blue representing uh, Dimash. Green, Arashi. Yellow, Sexy Zone. Uh, orange, Snowman. And then uh, I like to think pink is for Louie, personally. That's very cool. I'm going to put one of these in my mouth. What is this?